The next Construct add-on we're going to take a look at is the Easy Leaderboard plugin. This works in both Construct 2 and 3, and you can find it in the Sierra store, which I'll include a link to below in the description. With Easy Leaderboard, you can easily display a leaderboard of high scores, like this here. All you need to do is pass in the players and their scores, and the Easy Leaderboard plugin will order and format them for you. Let's take a look at how to set it up. I've got a simple level here, with an enemy creeping towards the player character. If you click on the enemy, it will die, and you're awarded a random score. That spawns another enemy, and increases his speed a bit, upping the difficulty. Eventually, the enemy will get too fast, and you won't be able to click it. Once it reaches the player, the player is destroyed, and the game is over. In Construct, if I show the leaderboard layer, you can see that right now I've got two objects. A text object, a label saying high score, and a leaderboard background object, which is just a blue sprite for the leaderboard's background. I'll hide the leaderboard layer for now. The first thing we need to do is add the Easy Leaderboard plugin to the project. So double click anywhere to add an object, and scroll down to General. Once installed, the Easy Leaderboard plugin will be found here. Go ahead and add it to the project. Next, we need to create a couple of text objects, which Easy Leaderboard will use to format the text. Double click to add an object, and choose Text. I'll name this Text1, and click Insert. Then I'll double click, and add another text object, and call this one Text2. Make sure to place both of these off the screen so the player can't see them. They're only going to be used for formatting the leaderboard. Text 1 is fine as it is, but Text 2 will be used to format the player's scores. I'll set Text 2 to be bold, and then set the horizontal alignment to right, so that as the score grows, it will grow to the left and not the right. That will help all the scores align properly, even if they're of different lengths. Also, set the origin of Text 2 to top right. Let's switch to the event sheet and set the leaderboard up. First, add an event using System and choose On Start of Layout. The first thing we need to do is add an instance of the leaderboard object to the layout. We can do that by adding an action using the System object and choosing Create Object. Under Object to Create, select the Easy Leaderboard object. I'll add it to Layer 2, the leaderboard layer and leave X and Y set to zero. Next, we're going to position the leaderboard, and I want it to be just inside of the leaderboard background. So I'll add an action, using the leaderboard object, and choose Set Position. Here, I'll set the X to leaderboard background, dot X plus 25 and Y to leaderboard background dot Y plus 20. Next, we need to format the leaderboard's text by choosing the text objects we created earlier and setting the width of each column. With the Easy Leaderboard plugin, the leaderboard created has three columns, the place the player came in, the player's name, and the player's score. If we add another action, there are three actions here that let us do that for each column, so let's add one for the position column. And we'll set the font to be styled like the text1 object, and the width to be 50 pixels. Let's add another action with the Easy Leaderboard object and set Name column. For the Name column, we'll also use Text1 for the font style, but set the column width to 200 pixels. Last, add another action with the Easy Leaderboard object and choose Set Score column. Here, we'll use Text2, which is bold, and aligned so that the scores will line up properly. I'll set the score column's width to 100 pixels. 
Now, when the player is destroyed and the game is over, we want to add our score to the leaderboard and show the leaderboard layer. Let's add an event using the player object and choose on destroyed. Then we need to add our score to the leaderboard, add an action using the easy leaderboard object and choose set entry. From here, you can specify a unique player ID, which I'll set to player underscore 123, and a separate display name, which is the name you'll see in the actual leaderboard. I'll enter today's toots. And we'll set the score to the player score variable. Then, we need to draw the leaderboard to the layout. Drawing the leaderboard populates each field in the column with the data required to display the leaderboard. Add an action using the Easy Leaderboard object, and choose Draw Leaderboard. After that, we just need to add an action, using the System object, and choose Set Layer Visible, and set Layer 2, the Leaderboard layer, to Visible. Before we test it out, there's one last thing I'd like to do, which is set our player's score to be required to be shown. Right now, the top 10 scores will be shown, but if the player's not in that top 10, you won't see their score or what place they got. If we add an action to the on player destroyed event using Easy Leaderboard and choose Set Required Entry, we can enter our player ID that we created earlier, so player underscore 123. Now, if the player doesn't score in the top 10, the 10th entry of the leaderboard will show the player their score and what position they did get. Also, I created a loop which will populate the leaderboard with 50 random players and scores. I'll just add it to the on start of layout event. This uses the same method we used to add our player's score to the leaderboard. But in your games, you would loop through the high scores from whatever source you have them stored and enter them one by one. Okay, let's test it out. I'll kill a few enemies and they'll start to gain speed. If I build up my score for a while, and then let the enemy collide with the player, the leaderboard is shown, and I made ninth place. If I try again, and just kill a few enemies to get the speed up, and let the enemy collide with the player, I'm in the last position of the leaderboard, but it shows that I'm in 43rd place. If you want your leaderboard to show more or less entries, select the Easy Leaderboard object and change top X entries to whatever you'd like. From here, you can also set the entries to be sorted either descending or ascending, and set the vertical margin, which is the distance in pixels between each column. So that covers how to add a leaderboard to your project using the Easy Leaderboard plugin. Once you understand how to set everything up, it's really simple to get a leaderboard into your game and populated with the players and their scores.